I have a 2021 iPad mini here. I'm gonna show you how to transfer files such as videos and photos directly from your iPad mini to any Chromebook using the uh, cable here, okay? And I'm not, I'm not talking about uploading it to Google Photos. I'm talking about saving all your photos and videos to the hard drive of your Chromebook. Now, the first thing I want to say is uh, in regards to the charging cable now with the ipad mini the 2021 you get a usb-c to usb-c now the thing is on my chromebook i don't have a usb-c port basically a thunderbolt 3 okay so my option is i have to turn this into a us usb-a so i have one of these adapters here it's a usb-c to usb-a i can pop that in there plug to my usb port and go from there okay i'll put a link below where you can get these are really inexpensive another alternative too is I have another cable laying around from a different phone. It's a USB-A to USB-C. This will work as well, okay? Anyway, let me go ahead and connect this part right here into my USB-A port, USB port right here. Now, let me go ahead and grab my iPad mini and we're gonna plug that into here Okay, now let me go ahead and log in here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, okay, so you should get a message on your iPad mini. It says, allow this device to access photos and videos. You want to tap on allow. Okay, now this window here pop up. Now this is the files folder, okay? And that's what the icon here looks like. Oh, let me zoom in so you can see. Now if that doesn't pop up, you can always click on here and then tap on files, okay? Anyway, there's nothing, uh, from here, if you look on the left pane here, the left side here, now we gotta do is just scroll down and then you'll see Apple iPad right here. So let's click on that. And then here's the DCIM folder. This is where all your photos and videos are. Let's double click on that. And I have a folder here. You may have a bunch of folders, okay? Anyway, I only have a few photos and videos on here. So let me double click on this. Oh, and the thing is, is if um, if you clicked on your DCIM folder and then you click on the other folder in here, if there if it turns out like empty, then you may have a lot of photos and videos. You may have to wait wait like a few minutes until it populates. Okay. Anyway, from here now the thing is this isn't a Windows computer. It's not like we can drag and drop this. Like for example, I can't drop this movie file here, this video, I can't drag and drop it to my desktop. If I do, it's gonna swing back down. Remember, this is not a Windows computer. Also, really quickly, you can tell which ones are photos and videos. With an MOV extension, it's a video movie file. With a, a JPEG, it's a photo, okay? So we wanna save this to a hard drive. What we have to do is look on the left side here. Okay, now under, you see where My Files is? Now, everything under My Files, that's all your stuff that is on your hard drive. So what we have to do is this. Let's go to my files here and let's create a new folder and let's just call this one mini, okay? Right there. Now what we can do is you can drag and drop each one into that new folder that we just made or what I typically do is I'll do the whole shebang or you can select whichever one you want. I'm going to drag and drop into that new folder called mini. I'm going to let go and wait for this to um, copy over so give this one second here you can see that it is copying 10 items to mini folder okay now it says complete right there now I mean you can go ahead and uh, disconnect your iPad mini because now everything is already on the hard drive so from here we just go ahead and tap on mini the folder we just made and there you go here's all our um, videos and um, photos right here that's on the hard drive of the Chromebook. So pretty simple. Any, if you guys have any questions or issues, just comment below and I'll try to help you guys out. All right, good luck guys.